Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I haven't done one of these in a while, but I figured it would be a good week to do one just because um, tomorrow I have my son's parent-teacher conference in the morning and I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. I usually film my videos on Tuesday mornings when he's at school, so I might not be able to film a regular video tomorrow. If I do, it'll just be like an extra bonus one, but if not, then I figured at least I'll have this vlog. So we are heading out to Walmart and the grocery store. I'm not gonna bore you with the grocery store, but um, if I see anything new or interesting in Walmart, I will definitely film in there and take you guys with me. So um, I will see you when we get there. Okay, so we are back from Walmart. I tried really hard to film in there and I actually got up a couple of Instagram stories, but then the camera on my phone just kept failing. Like I would take a video and partway through it would freeze up. So um, if you saw my Insta stories, you probably saw a few of the things that I spotted already, but I can show you now. So let's take a look. Okay, so you're gonna laugh, but this is the Skin Musk Cologne Spray. It used to be made by Bonnie Bell, and now I think it's made by, yeah, Parfums Decor, which was that company that makes all the body sprays. Um, so <laughs> I've been wearing this since high school in the 90s, and it's like the warmest, coziest scent ever. Um, it kind of is like a mix of sort of like a fresh laundry type scent mixed with like warm skin basically. I guess that's why they call it skin musk. Okay, here's what it reminds me of exactly. When I used to borrow my ex-boyfriend's sweater and I could kind of smell the laundry detergent on the sweater mixed with his cologne and it was like still warm from his skin, like it's that smell. It's really hard to explain but that's what it reminds me of. So I love this stuff and I've been wearing it forever even though it's like the cheapest perfume. I think it's, I don't know, 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Here's what the bottle looks like. If you like scents that are warm but they're not super sweet or gourmand, you will absolutely love this. It's not musky either, so don't let the musk um, scare you away. I don't like heavy, musky, like patchouli type scents. This isn't like that, it's very fresh yet it has the warmth in it to keep it grounded. So um, I really am excited to get another bottle because I've been out of this for a while and I just happened to spot it on the shelf in Walmart. So I had to get it. And then I also got one of the new Hard Candy Plumping Serum Volumizing Lip Gloss. So this isn't supposed to be the kind of lip gloss that like burns or stings to plump your lips. It has hyaluronic acid, so it's just supposed to plump up the lines by extreme hydration, basically. So it had a bunch of different colors. I got this shade, I have no idea what it's even called, First Kiss. So I'm excited to try that one because like I said, I don't like those tingly lip glosses, but I do have lip lines that I like to plump up, so I definitely am excited for that one. Oh, and then this is something that I saw, and it said it's only at Walmart. I haven't seen this anywhere else. This is the True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer, and it has like a little sponge applicator here. I didn't even know that this existed or that it was out. Um, it says conceals, illuminates, and hydrates, and um, also they had a really nice shade selection. Um, the regular True Match concealer had like five or six shades. This one had at least 12, I didn't count them, but, um, and they have warm and cool tones. So I got, they didn't have the cool tone one in stock, but I got fair neutral. So they had like a fair warm, fair neutral, fair cool, and then a light, you know, neutral, cool, warm, and et cetera. So I definitely like that they did that and I'm really excited to try this one out. And then the last thing I got is from Flower Beauty. I saw this new um, foundation stick, but it has, okay, it's called Pore Perfect Instant Blur Stick and Multitasking Foundation. So it has this clear blur stick on the one side and the foundation stick on the other. It looks kind of yellow to me and also kind of dark for being the porcelain shade. This is the lightest shade that they had. So we'll see. Actually, maybe what I'll do is just try these on for you guys really quick and do like a little first impression because I'm actually not wearing any makeup at the moment. Um, so first, I think I'm gonna apply the Hard Candy Plumping Lip Serum just because I wanna see how this sits on my lips over the course of when I'm doing my makeup. My lips are a little dry, a little bit liney, so I'm curious to see like what they're gonna look like once I'm done. I'm guessing that this isn't like instantaneous. It might take a few minutes to do its thing. This color is really pretty. I think it's kind of sheer. 
It's not one of those glosses that's like heavily pigmented. It smells so good though. It smells like vanilla. Okay, so I'll just let that sit for a minute. And then I want to try out this Flower Beauty um, primer stick and foundation. It doesn't have any directions on it at all. So I went on the um, Flower Beauty website and I looked and they just basically said to use the balm first and then do the foundation on top. And they suggested using their sponge to apply the foundation, which I have, so um, that'll be good. All right, so let's just apply this to basically, I think the areas that I'm gonna need it. I'm just gonna use my fingers with this one. It feels kind of like um, most blurring sticks, like the Milk Makeup one. It's very light, very sheer, it's not um, thick. It, it dries matte pretty much instantly. I don't know if mattifying my super dry skin is a good thing right now, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, it feels like nothing. It feels very weightless, but I'm just gonna use it actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use it all over like a primer. See how that goes. I was just gonna use it like, you know, on my cheeks and T-zone and stuff, but whatever. Okay, now the foundation. This looks so dark. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this. This looks like it is not going to be my color. Definitely like too yellowy tone for me, but at least it's not super dark. It looks way darker in the stick, so just in case you see this in the store and you're like, oh, this is too dark. It's actually a pretty good shade match, but it's just too yellow and they all look that way because I would have taken maybe the next darkest shade if it looked a little bit more cool toned, but... And also, I'm never a fan of like stick foundations. I think that they always look dry and cakey on me, so I have no idea why I got this. I think I just keep hoping that maybe one day one of them will work out. I like the idea of, you know, just having like a portable foundation stick. It's like quick and easy, but I don't know. They always just seem like too thick for my skin. I could wear them when I was younger, but I think now that I'm older, they're just not, they don't sit well. I don't know. I mean, it's blending in really nice. Actually, it's very lightweight for a stick foundation. I will give it that. Did I already put it on my forehead? <laughs> Maybe I did, oops. Second layer. <laughs> All right, just trying to look in the mirror here versus the camera because I have no idea what it really looks like in the camera. I mean, I have to admit, this is actually kind of nice. I'm not hating it. And I hate most stick foundations. Do it on my eyelids too. All right. I'm sorry if the lighting in here is terrible, you guys. I don't know if you can see very well. It's just my, you know, overhead bathroom lights and they cast weird shadows. Yeah, I mean, I'm really not hating this at all. First impression wise, I like this. It's it's like super thin, super lightweight. I mean, I don't know what it would look like using um, a brush or my fingers, but with the sponge, it has a really like natural skin finish. It does not look like heavy makeup sitting on my face at all. So I am impressed with this so far. I'm definitely gonna do a wear test today though because another thing about these type of foundation sticks is that they wear off really quickly. So um, I will check in with you guys later this evening too and see like how it wears, but so far so good. So moving on to this L'Oreal True Match, the new concealer. Um, this has like a little spongy tip applicator and you just have to twist up the base. So. We might be here a while. I think you're the idea is you're supposed to be able to blend it with this, but I never do. Like same thing with the Maybelline concealer um, with the sponge. I never blend it with that either because there's too much product on the sponge. So then you're just like putting too much on. But I really like how small this is and it gets right up under your eyes, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna blend it in with the flower sponge. It's blending out nicely though, and uh, doesn't feel like it's you know too thick or settling into 
fine lines or anything like that. I think what I'm going to do is like not set this because I really want to see how this just wears on its own. Um, coverage is probably kind of like the Flower Beauty Stick. It's like a probably a sheer to medium, I would say, in one coat. I mean, I think it mainly covers what I want it to. If you have darker circles, I think this might be like a little bit too sheer. Um, but for me, like just for every day, I think that, you know, it covers enough. And this also has a very skin-like finish. It's very natural. I don't see any type of like sinking into fine lines yet or anything. So, um, so far, so good as well. Let's do face products. And again, like this foundation does not feel tacky at all. It feels very matte. So, um, because I'm not setting it, I think I can put blush and bronzer like right on top of this and be totally fine. Um, I'm going to use this new Too Faced Natural face palette because you guys have been asking about this and how it wears. So let's crack this open. I have my Tarte double sided blush brush. This was from that back to school set that they had um, back in the fall of 2017. I think it's gone now, but um, I really like their brushes. So first I'm going to go into this lighter bronzer right here. This darker one has a lot of shimmer. So I'm just going to do some um, contouring with this one really quick and just kind of, uh, it's very pigmented as you can see. I don't want to go too crazy. Got to blend this out as much as I can here. Whoa. Let me put some up on my forehead if I can. Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice color for me though, I have to say. It's like the perfect bronze. It's not orange at all. Really, really like it. Okay, then I'm gonna go into this, uh, this blush. I think the pink one is like really pink. I'm feeling this more muted shade today. It's pretty as well. You can see like how pigmented these are, but they blend really nicely too. They don't like skip on my skin or anything. Okay, let's do a little highlighter. Do I want Starlight or let's try Satin Sheets. It's really pretty. It's very smooth. It's not like a chunky, crazy glitter. It's so smooth and buttery. I love it. That's really nice, you guys. Okay, so while we're at it, let's just do the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, the new one. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, this shade Strip Poker here for my transition shade. I'm not going to do anything super crazy today either, you guys. So I have hooded eyes and uh, I can't really do super complicated looks because they just get hidden anyway. But what I usually like to do is use my transition shade and kind of bring it out a little bit to sort of make my eye, because my eyes are downturned as well. So I like to kind of um, put it towards this outer edge here just to make my eyes look more like cat eye, I guess. <laughs> it kind of helps just with the shape of it. Um, so this is really pretty. I mean, can you guys see how this is blending already? Like it's very, very pigmented and it smells like coconut and vanilla as well, which I love. I'm just gonna look in the mirror versus the camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so that is my transition. Then to just um, deepen up the crease a little bit, I'm gonna use this really pointy brush because again, with hooded eyes, you don't want it to go, I don't wanna use dark colors. I don't want to get them down on my lid at all because when your eye is hooded, I like to put a really light color on my lid to just make my lid pop. So what you can see of it, just this little sliver here, actually brings it forward a little bit more. So I use this really tiny pointed brush. This is from uh, Beauty Junkies. I'll link it down below. It comes in a set of eye brushes. They're my favorite brushes. So I'm gonna use this darker shade here, Cashmere Bunny and just go into the crease a little bit. And this makes like a funny line, but I'm gonna blend it once I put it exactly where I want it. That's why I like this brush because it just puts the shadow exactly in this one spot. It's also good for aligning your eyes as well. Again, it just looks like I'm putting like a dark 
stripe right in my crease, but I'm gonna blend that out. This is also a Beauty Junkies brush from the same set. Yeah, these are blending out really nicely. I'm liking them so far. And then I'm gonna use this flat brush here, which is also from that same set. And I'm gonna go in with, I think, Silk Teddy, which is this really light pink. I'll do that one on the lid. It's a shimmer. The other two were um, matte shades. This is pigmented too. I mean, it's nice, but I think um, maybe to make it pop a little bit more, I'll either use my finger. You could also spray your brush with setting spray and that works well too. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I'll just pop a little bit on the inner corner too. Okay, and then just for the very outer corner, I'll take more of that cashmere bunny shade right here and just sort of blend it into the outer corner a little because I'm also gonna line under my eyes and I want this to sort of all connect. And you guys, I'm not a makeup artist by the way. I just kind of have found like what works for me and my particular eye shape, um, but I'm by no means an expert at makeup application, so um, just so you know. Okay, and then again, this little pointy brush in the Cashmere Bunny shade. I'm just going to go in the lower lash line a little bit and bring it up to the corner. So you can kind of see now how I sort of changed my eye shape a little bit that way where my eyes looked kind of downturned before and now they actually go up like that. So, um, okay, so I, I really like this palette so far. I think the colors blend really nicely. I'm sure everybody has these shades in their collection already, but if you're a neutral palette junkie like I am, I think you'll really enjoy this one. And then for mascara, I'm actually gonna put on the new Flower Beauty Lash Warrior. They sent this to me and I have not tried it yet, so I'm really curious. On the packaging it says 150% fierce full-blown volume, 100% saw dramatic thickness, and 88% saw extreme length, so that sounds like my kind of formula. So let me just show you the brush really quickly. This is one of those plastic ones. I don't know if it's focusing on it or not. Um, the bristles are very, very spiky and kind of far apart, but it doesn't look like the mascara is clumping up into the wand at all, which is good. So let's give this a go. I usually put on like a million coats. But wait, is a coat like one zigzag up and then you go again and it's another coat or does the coat mean you have to let it dry in between i'm curious because i always feel like i do a million coats but otherwise i just do one because i don't let it dry in between i just do this a million times and try to build out the lash as much as i can so i'm not getting like dramatic length with this at all i mean I'm definitely getting some volume and I actually like that it doesn't, it's not clumpy at all. I can just kind of keep going and I like that about it. However, I'm not noticing like a ton of length and volume. I think it's doing a pretty good job, but one eye to the other, it's not extreme. I do like that it's not clumpy, but is it giving me like all those claims on the packaging? I don't know. Okay, so that's probably about as much as I want to put on before I think it's going to start to get clumpy. I think it does a pretty good job. I mean, I think my lashes look decent. I don't think that they're the biggest lashes I've ever had in a mascara, but um, definitely nice. And uh, I guess we'll just see. The true test will be if the smudges under my eyes. They all tend to do that. And actually, I just saw a trick. 
I can't remember who it was now or I would let you know, but somebody on YouTube was saying that if you do this after you put your mascara on and kind of just like close your eyes on your fingers and let the mascara, the extra come off, that that way it won't smudge because they were saying like if you do multiple coats like I'm doing, what happens is it sometimes can just stay wet and not fully dry because there's too many coats on there. And then when you're blinking throughout the day, it just starts to go on underneath your eyes. So um, maybe if I can kind of get that excess off, that would help. We'll see. Okay, so I am done with my makeup for today and I guess I will just do some check-ins with you guys and let you know later on if this is lasted, how the eyeshadow held up, the blush, the foundation, everything. Um, oh, and just quickly, the lip gloss. Um, my lips look a little bit smoother, I would say. Not a ton, not like the, the Noonie lip oils that I was raving about the other day, but um, they feel hydrated. It doesn't burn or sting at all. Like they said, it just feels really nice. So, um, so far so good with everything. All right guys, so it's about 8 p.m. This will be my final check-in and it's been around eight hours or so since I did my makeup. I think everything still looks pretty good. Um, let's see, the Too Faced eyeshadows are still going strong. Uh, the face products as well. I can still definitely see my blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Um, also, the mascara didn't smudge. Yay, that's awesome. Maybe my little trick there helped. I don't know. Um, and the concealer, um, I didn't have any issues with creasing under my eyes. I think it held up really well. It didn't accentuate uh, my fine lines at all. It didn't look cakey. Um, it's very smooth, but it is also more of a lighter coverage. It's kind of, I would say, a sheer to medium. So if you have a lot of darkness under your eyes that you want to hide, it may not be enough for you or you might have to just use a corrector underneath it first. Um, but I did like the texture and so far so good. And then as far as the Flower Beauty foundation stick, I was actually pleasantly surprised with that. I think it looks really natural on my skin. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Um, even when I went outside, I couldn't actually like see it on my skin, which was really surprising to me. So um, I am really happy with that. But again, that one also doesn't have a lot of coverage. So if you're looking to hide a lot of things, it's not going to work for you. It's definitely more of a sheer and you could probably build it up to medium but um, even when I did like two coats on my forehead um, you know it's not gonna completely cover everything it never got to full coverage so so far at least first impression wise I'm really happy with the products I got today as well as the new Too Faced palettes I still have to try the all matte one but I'm assuming it's gonna be very similar to the natural eyes because I did use a few of the matte shades in there and I thought they were really pigmented and blended really nicely um, so oh the only thing that I was kind of lukewarm about I would say is the hard candy plumping lip gloss it was okay I didn't really notice any plumping and I feel like I have a lot of lip glosses that are more hydrating than that one um, so I would much rather use like the Nuni lip oils that I mentioned a few videos back or even the Milani plumping glosses I liked a little bit better than that one so um, I probably wouldn't purchase any more shades I felt like it was just okay and then also to the flower beauty mascara I was kind of on the fence about that one I'm glad that it didn't smudge or flake and it also doesn't clump so I like that about it but I didn't think it made my lashes super long and super voluminous I do have other ones that I feel like do a better job with that like the covergirl supersizer or the Lorac royal treatment primer and mascara duo so I think um, I would probably use those over this one so I don't think it was terrible but like I said there's just ones that I like a little bit more all right so I'm gonna get going this video is already long enough I'm sure so um, let me know in the comments what you thought of any of these products if you've tried any of them yet I would love to hear from you and um, if you watch this all the way to the end thank you so much for hanging in there and I will see you in the next one